Good morning. How are you? Just checking my screens first. And yes, I think I've got it right. And now just the awareness that you will need that I have this on the two streaming systems again. And some of the comments you may or may not see because one or other is on, you know, it's on the other one. <laughs> so I am showing the comments that are showing up on the Be Live side first. So g'day, Stevie. How are you this morning? My this morning, your evening, isn't it? It's a lovely morning. Well, it is a lovely morning here. It's not so hot. <laughs> and good morning, Marie. Wonderful to see you here. And Shaz, good morning. We've got Carol here as well. Good morning. And I'm going to just flip over to the ECAM side. So for those who are on those channels, which is the Twitch uh, Periscope, uh, the card reading group. And oh, they, I know there's another one and I can't remember it. One of my, my page probably on, you, on Facebook as well. So good morning, Kathy. Wonderful to see you all here. And oh good, it was beautiful earlier today. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's it's those mid seasons, isn't it? And we've got Judy here as well. Good morning to you. Now we're here for our usual daily liniment card spread reading. I have used the same cards which you would have noticed in the intro, maybe just. I've used the Gilded Reverie Liniment. And I've used the same spread, but I did take note of Tracy, I think it was, who had put up a query just to see, you know, what about some different cards, switching it up, switching it round, because I must have mentioned something about it through the session yesterday. Um, look, I might do afterwards. But what we're going to do now is switch around to our general card reading. Remember, there is, isn't the individual card pulls with this one. Whoops, yeah, got to go to the right, right camera. Right, here we've got, there's the cards that I'm using. That's the ones that I've been using for yolks now. Well, it, it would be, it's definitely coming up close. I mean, I've been using them for over two years, but to do this, this live stream, the daily live stream I've been doing for close to the two years. And um, we've got the five card spread. So what I've got here is the workspace where the mountain is, We've got the Birch Broom and Whip in the home space, which I found very interesting. Uh, the dog is in the unexpected today, and those two we had yesterday. We've got the cross in your role, and we have the young lady who is in the outcome. And the reason I found this is interesting because uh, did I get the dog to, did we get to take the dog for a walk yesterday? No, because here in South Australia, we have severe restrictions on being outside exercising and that at the moment because of the, um, that word, you know, what's happening in the world. Uh, South Australia has a few more cases that had happened and it's had the thumbs down, thumb press on it of uh, restrictions. So we, we're not even allowed to take our dogs for a walk at the moment and it's only the six days we now only got five left to do hopefully that's what the limit will be and that's some of the challenges that we're seeing here already so and we've got rosie's joined us now too these are on you you guys are on the b live side so good morning you'd be on the my time tv live page thank you for being here so where we're at now is the mountain is that challenging space and place and it happens to be in our work energy. So we do have a few things that we've got that are going to challenge us today and uh, keep, keeping that um, in mind that, look, it's only challenges. It doesn't have to be the mountain. We can put it back to being the molehill. Oh, that's lovely, Rosie. You've played with your, the ball with your dog. Look, I was taking him. What I was doing was walking up and down my passageway inside a fair bit yesterday, and I'll explain that later. Um, and they just run around outside at well anyway. I've got a big yard, so uh, and they're small dogs, so it's not as big an issue for me here, but it could be for those with the big dogs and that really need walking. Hey, um, yeah, so. 
place your feet carefully where you are going, you know, me talking walking, place your feet carefully with whatever you're doing and, you know, have that intention to uh, just stand steady in what you're doing today in whatever way that is, whether it's on that emotional level and frustration around work or not work, depending what you're in. Here in uh, South Australia, we do have those restrictions. Some are not able to be at work. Some are having to work from home again, you know, all sorts of different varieties of how we're being challenged. So that's what the that card is for there in the, mount, the mountain in the workspace. So it's all good. Good morning, Kat. How are you? I love that photo you've put there. Beautiful photo. Um, we are going to move over now to the home space. Good morning, Deb. Whoops, my um, scroller thing went funny there so good morning Deb uh in the home space we've got the birch whip birch broom and the whip uh it's usually labeled the whip as the card itself goes some decks will call it the broom it's a combination so it's about getting that work done and a funny thing because yesterday we did switch around a room empty one room out completely and put the spare bed in there and have it having it set up now so it's uh, a nice space there's other things I need to be sorting out in the physical rooms in my house to actually empty some more of those boxes that are in you know just shoved in you know we've all got a junk room at the moment moment my art sewing room is a junk room it but it's not junk it's just stuff that's been placed there until I've got the time to sort it because when you move you just shove things everywhere and I'm still in that process of yes unpacking and actually getting them done uh, and yes we are challenged in South Australia absolutely and um, so it, it is about doing some work today it, it's having that sort of you know keeping at it it's persistence and cleaning up as we go, cleaning up before and after or whatever it's actually needing. But we do need to have that physical component of this because these are very physical um, items. You know, a broom doesn't do itself, but, you know, it doesn't work by itself. The whip is more just that get get the actions happening, you know, do the, do the due process that, that gets the tasks done um, many a time. You know, when on a farm, you well, in, in my case, as I was being brought up, there certainly was a stock whip that was involved with, um, what do you call it, herding up the cows, you know, doing cattle work. So anyway, I, I love being on the farm. And moving up into our unexpected space where well, the dog is still there. We've had the dog in that space a couple of times too. In, over the recent weeks and months so it is that I mean the probabilities of having the same card in the same space can be fairly high in the Lenneman deck there is 36 regular cards in a Lenneman deck so you know the possibilities and the and the probabilities etc it still is it's popped up there for us to take notice and be noticing when the dog's ready look just pay attention to what is around us and that unexpected factor and uh, yeah Rosie isolation is a great time to get the room sorted and the rest so that's what I'm taking advantage of it certainly is and the time was just right it was a bit warm yesterday I was feeling very hot by the time I'd finished I tell you uh, my partner and I so yeah you'll be catching up on the computer work that you need to do so it's all levels of different ways that we're going to be catching up on getting that work done and um being aware being ready you know for that unexpected uh, someone close to us in this case it is it more than likely will be the dogs and I've just taken for a lap around the yard <laughs> because we're technically not meant to be going out into the public arena and taking our dogs for a walk even and they are actually policing it so it's it's not worth the risk it's that consideration of others that's what we're needing to be and do in this very difficult situation that is global we're very lucky here in South Australia, in Australia, that we've got the government that does try its best to get on top of it instantly, as instant as fast as they can. I won't say instantly because, you know, the wheels and cogs do grind a bit slow sometimes, but at least there is that uh, need, that, that ready to be in action as soon as they can, once the decisions are made and everything, to actually crack down and do 
what's needed. And we as, as our, you know, the public, the people who live here, uh, needing to take note, put into place for ourselves that consideration for others because it's not just for us. It's not just because we need to be locked up or anything. It, it really is that effort that needs to be put into it to bring it about to be the, the quickest knockout of. And, you know, there, there's all sorts of different arguments for against in the ways that it's being dealt with. But this is what it is. Take advantage of it to the best that we can by getting some of that work done, being ready for the unexpected and those moments where we can, you know, take our dogs for a lap around our own yards or anything like that. And at the moment in our role, it's the cross that we're going to have to bear. It's taking responsibility for what our actions are and our own mental attitude to it because I know that there's some that keep that do say um, uh, look it uh, and I'm not wanting to be little mental health but a lot of the mental health if we each supported each other better that there wouldn't be this big issue that's continually mentioned as far as our mental health is going to go down well, change your attitude to how you're receiving, how you're sitting in your situation and support each other in finding games to play together in your family. If you're working from home, take those frequent, uh, you know, being forced to work from home, take those frequent little breaks that you're not feeling the grind uh, in a way that's being that negative feeling in your head. Uh, you know, it, I'm not in the mental health field. I'm in a holistic therapy field. That's how I look at life. It's what needs to be more focused on our own responsibility with our health at times where we can't continually keep passing the buck to a government. Take responsibility for yourself, and this is our role. Take responsibility for ourselves in how we are acting or reacting because, it, you know, there's two sides to it. It's we, we either react or we actually act in a positive way and we can change our mind and decide oh, I'm going to be happy in this and take advantage of the best things that I can find and do in a limiting situation in the limited situation we're in and we find usually by the end of it that we're actually very very happy to have moved through a time that gives us reflection and contemplation yeah we are lucky that our government acted straight away fully agree with you Deb and this is where Outcome, the reflecting, it's that gentleness, it's that taking care of ourselves, it's the nurturing self because it's the feminine side we're looking at today. Remember we had the young man uh, in the outcome, was that yesterday or the day before? But it's it's actually putting our, our thoughts and our feelings in that nurture self, be gentle on ourselves and, and you know, just allow the time to actually sit and flow, spend that time that we are, you know, we, there's not much we can do about certain situations, but we can certainly um, change how we are actually thinking about it and feeling about it because it is a choice. All of life is a choice. And, uh, yeah, the comment that you've made there, Rosie, that our South Australian Premier has um, reacted quicker than what the Victorian... Look, it's not so much a, a different state against state type thing. I do feel that it's... You know, we are a country and I do feel in some respects that the borders should be non-existent. But it is what it is. This is where it's, it's the cross we bear. It is what it is. And we have had restrictions in where we can travel. Because physically, if you keep it confined to certain spaces and places and areas and cities or whatever, um, you know, the movement all over the place, it doesn't matter where it is, what state, keep the movement restricted so that we don't have the, the virus, you know, the, the bugs continually circulating where we can't track and all that sort of stuff. Look, it feels like a nanny state or whatever term you want to call it. But it is it is what it is. It's the way that the um, medical system and the scientists and everyone have gauged it's the best way to deal with it. And we as those, and I'll go back to here, and I do feel that we as, uh, you know, public, that don't have the full knowledge and having to act with what is uh, multiple people, multiple locations and all the rest, we 
we don't have the skills or inner knowledge about how management of all the logistics and everything around the testing and et cetera, et cetera, uh, actually are. Um, so in that respect, look, even those who feel that it's all a conspiracy and everything, that doesn't matter. This is what our regulation and rulings and et cetera, et cetera, are now. We need to actually chill it out and, okay, I'm home for the next five days effectively. I love being at home. So for me, it doesn't really affect me all that much, but it's a different situation for every person. And how we actually deal with it here in our mental capacity is uh, going to either get us through it easily or not. So choose with your own senses what, you know, what you need. Choose how you want to actually have your day pan out. Do you, you know, it, it's all like, all, also like little mini goal settings and things like that. And just go with the flow and enjoy what you're into <laughs> because, yeah, what choice? You've got the choice. Now, the other thing that I was going to do was just do a very quick, and I'm going to actually pick up these cards. Now, um, I'll just go back to here, and we'll do it as a double screen this time, but I'll switch it round so that I'm in it this way. And, um, yeah, I just changed it round. I'm going to do these up. What I did was pendulumed, which other deck of cards i'll just have a very quick play with this morning and it's this deck uh, i've just got to get the light right on it so it's the little bluebird liniment um and just popping up the comment to those who are in my time etc yeah rosie so true keeping it contained hopefully it'll be over in sa in january you've booked your accommodation and you're thinking positive think positive you know how powerful our thoughts are. We all know that. We just, it's, some recognise that more than others. How powerful are our thoughts? And look, at, at some point, it certainly is something that we as the public, as, you know, living in our lives, we do actually, oops, I left that one out. So we do actually have that, um, Oops, we are going to have the time that comes up where we're going to need to uh, do the, oh, I'm trying to think of the word, Li living with it. You know, it, it's got to be something that we actually do live with. I'm just going to, did that go round? It did. Oops, I've changed the lighting. I've changed my scene incorrectly. Now what am I doing? <laughs> This is what I get with playing with buttons and I haven't got the, like you can see my hands there with the camera. I haven't got the camera set up quite at the right angle here. And I thought, well, with this deck, I'll just put out three cards and we'll have a very quick little mini reading of the three cards of a different deck. So here we've got them. Oh, my goodness. We've got the snake, the bear and the moon. Now, because <laughs> I'm so much further away what I'm going to do is just pop these down here I'll take the angle of the camera and do it slightly differently is that better I'm hoping that we can actually see them a bit easier and uh, Marie you're hoping to be in Victoria in January as well <laughs> we're going to clean up your mum's house oh I feel for you as far as I know the hard task that that is cleaning up um, shifting and moving stuff that's your mum's and wondering uh, I do feel for you as far as having your mum pass and going through that task hoping that's what we need to be doing it's not so much even the hoping but knowing it is going to pass the time of this severe coronavirus and what we've got here in this, because it's what we're talking about, it does feel to me like it's, and uh, the with this, I'll use my little pencil, it's the bear that we've got here as 
oh, I've got a different screen size now. Why did that change there? Hang on. Let me get back to this one. Whoops, that one, because I prefer my face. Then I look like I'm actually looking down at the cards even, and I am, so that in, in that little picture up there, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The bear, it's, and I'm going to read the little verse in this one because I actually quite like these little verses in this Bluebird deck. Um, they are, it is still a Lenneman deck, so we have the bear. Um, you know, in, in relation to what's coming ahead, it, it is going to, this is what I'm feeling we were talking about and showing, you know, by the time in January, okay? <laughs> and I like that. Rosie, <laughs> Rosie's going to wave wave to you as you cross the border into SA and Marie crosses over into Victoria. <laughs> That's cute. I do like that. What a thought. That's lovely. And Frida. Oh, good morning, Frida. How are you? You're over on, now I'm trying to think, one of the Facebook pages. That's wonderful because you're in my eCam one. So the Be Live crew can't see this comment. Six days will go so fast. You had 10 weeks of total lockdown. You thought it was bliss, reading, craft, sewing, but yes, it can be a bit lonely without absolutely. <laughs> so thank you for that, Frida. I really appreciate that. Now we're here at the bear and the bear is brawny and bold. Here is the bear. Your financial positions, you should be aware. Spend your resources with wisdom and care. Use your power to be strong and fair. And it's that last line in this one that I think we're needing to prepare with as our attitude, our perspective, our outlook on being positive, be strong and fair in how we are behaving with what's happening around our, our restrictions here in South Australia. So the snake, we've got the snake as that central focus in some respects because the moon's there. I'm taking it as this energy of being a central focus, right? So snake, vile is the serpent who loves with a bite. Be not indulgent or slow to the fight. Flee every moment she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you to harm. So it's being aware of those that are going to be deceptive and trying to con us into different ways of behaving that we're not wanting to, to be and as even ourselves not trying to manipulate the situation where we're actually, because we saw some people swimming at the beach and they got caught yesterday, you know, on the news, things like that. So that is a bit of the thing that's in the centre where we're probably thinking of ways to get around the restrictions, etc. That's just my thoughts on why the snake is in the centre of these three cards. And um, now we're moving to the moon. So the slumbering moon, when it rises near, means that great honours are bound to appear. Intuition and perception soar in the night emotions wax and wane in the moon's light so it really is a steadying influence of allowing that flow of the moon energy in and through what we're seeing in that coming up through to January so it really is going to be the awareness of the intuition and the perception that we've got using that attitude of and I'm going to try and put that up closer so that it does it let's see if it's going to focus there does it no silly thing that's the one thing that um, I'm a bit um, disappointed in the cameras sometimes it doesn't focus very well when you've got text and too close too far all that sort of thing it needs white balance or something I don't know anyway beautiful it's it's a different deck it's it's a beautiful deck in its own right the um, bluebird because you know it's liniment uh, it's like any any tool that we're using that it's just another tool and it's what ones what what ones are you attracted to what oh hang on I'm on the wrong I'm trying to get back to my original screen oh now it's not letting me let me do that there we go. Has that fixed that? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Back to normal. So thank you for being here and indulging my little bit extra. And, you know, 
I, I love the comments that you, you're putting in the chat stream. I really enjoy the time in chatting with you and sharing something a little different with those three cards um, that are the Bluebird Lenneman. <coughs> Oops, sorry. I'm just going to put that up once more as a finish so you can see just those cards. So it's the bear, the snake and the moon and that was in reference to moving it through to January and I do feel, you know, the energy around what is, uh, move, you know, that our positive thoughts and, and not trying to manipulate too much but being guided by what is happening with government direction and, yes, our responsibility to move it through to feeling that, you know, that, that gut feeling, the, the intuition and what our direction is moving it forward. We do need to be at some point we are going to need to be living with it in a different sense because that's just how it's going to need to be uh, because you can't keep locking down different areas of a country in the way that it has had to be for this initial start until we know what we're dealing with and that's the thing. It will level out at some point. So if everyone put your positive thoughts together Keep being the best person that you can be using your own inner guidance, that gut feeling, the who we are, um, and moving it forward in all positiveness into what is our future, whatever that brings. Okay. Thank you for being here and we'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock as well as there is, just a reminder, there is the Friday's Intuitive Chat tonight as far as I'm aware. Uh, I haven't... Uh, well, I'll still be holding something, uh, whether Leanne's able to join in with me or not, because uh, I'm not sure if there's anything alternative that she's doing. I haven't checked in with her yet. Uh, but it's Friday's intuitive chat tonight on the My Time, and that is 8.30. So looking forward to seeing those here who would uh, love to join in. You'll see the event in MyTimeTV.live there somewhere. And I'll see you either tonight or in the morning for the regular 8 o'clock one. So thank you. Keep being the best person that you can be and namaste until then. And, yes, Rosie, have a great day, everyone. And uh, even those on the other channels that popped in with Kathy and Frida. So bye for now. I've just got to find the end buttons. Bye.